Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we're making roasted chicken breast with creamy mushroom sauce. This is a great weeknight meal. It takes under 30 minutes total to make and the recipe is very easy. Serve it with some seasonal vegetables and roast potatoes. So if you would like to learn how to make this recipe, then let's get started. Chicken breast can be very dry and boring at times. So to get some flavor and moisture in there, we are going to make a herb and garlic butter. For that we need a clove of garlic. You can either dice up the garlic very finely, or if it's easier, you can use a grater or a garlic crusher. I'm making enough for one chicken breast, which can serve one to two people. But if you would like to make more, then just double or triple the recipe. Add the garlic to a small bowl. To the garlic, we're adding a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme. I use a lot of dried herbs, they're a lot easier, but if you are using fresh thyme, use about one teaspoon as dried herbs usually have a much stronger flavour than fresh. And of course, to make the garlic and herb butter, we need butter. Make sure your butter is at room temperature and add about a tablespoon to the bowl. Mix the herb butter together with the spoon until everything is well combined. Garlic and thyme go perfectly with poultry, so try using this garlic and herb butter next time you roast a whole chicken. We're going to be placing the herb butter under the skin of the chicken breast. This will help it crisp up, which will create some great texture. Loosen the skin on the chicken breast, being careful not to completely remove it from the breast. Just place your fingers underneath and pull up. Using your hand, stuff all of the herb butter evenly under the skin, pressing down on top to spread it evenly out. Lastly, don't forget to season both sides of the chicken with salt and pepper. Heat a medium sized pan over high heat until it is very hot. Add a small amount of oil to the pan. We don't need much as there is butter under the skin of the chicken which will melt. Add the chicken breast to the pan, skin side down. This won't need too long as we just want to sear the breast and get some good color on the skin. So make sure your pan is at a very high heat. After a few minutes, turn the chicken breast over and cook for a further few minutes. Remove the chicken from the pan, don't clean the pan as we will use it to make the creamy mushroom sauce. Place the chicken into a baking dish and place into a 200 degree celsius or 400 degree fahrenheit oven for about 20 minutes. The sauce for this dish will only take about 5 to 10 minutes, so now is a great time to prepare anything else you would like to serve with the chicken. When the chicken only has about 5 minutes left, we can start to make the sauce. I'm using white button mushrooms for this recipe, but if you have some other type, they will work also. Thinly slice the mushrooms. To make the sauce, we are going to use the pan that we cooked the chicken in earlier. It's full of flavor that was left behind from the chicken, so heat it up over medium heat and throw in the mushrooms. Cook them for about three to four minutes, stirring often until they brown. Add a splash of white wine to deglaze the pan and leave it to reduce by at least half. The chicken should be fully cooked by now. The internal temperature needs to reach at least 65 degrees Celsius or 150 degrees Fahrenheit. As we're leaving it to rest, it will continue cooking from the residual heat. Remove it from the oven and place on a chopping board to rest. When most of the wine has reduced, measure out a quarter cup of cream. Add to the pan as well as a teaspoon of soy sauce. Roll a lemon on a chopping board to loosen up the juice and slice in half. Juice half of the lemon into the mushroom sauce. This will give the sauce a little bit of tanginess. Turn the heat to low and stir to make sure everything is evenly combined. Leave it to thicken up while we slice up the chicken. I always like to do this on an angle, it just makes it look fancy, but you can slice it up any way you want or just serve it whole. The chicken should be perfectly cooked. If it was cooked much longer, it would have been quite dry. Check your mushroom sauce has thickened. If you like it thinner, just add a touch more cream, or for thicker, just continue cooking it. It shouldn't need seasoning because of the soy sauce. Place the sliced up chicken onto the plate and add the mushroom sauce. Serve with your favorite vegetables and some roast potatoes. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. For other dinner recipes, take a look at this Thai beef salad. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!